part of what Encompass is doing is trying to have a conversation with white folks around why caring about these issues should and does impact how we do advocacy for animals. And there is a lot of sensitivity around it, especially because white folks tend to think that they're devoid of race. I started Encompass because it is the right thing to do. If we are a justice-based movement, we have to do right by the people in our cause, and it's also the effective thing to do. We are trying to help organizations understand why diversity, equity, and inclusion should be a part of their bottom line. We need to recognize that we are inherently an ally movement, which means we are by nature advocating for someone else. In this case, we're advocating for non-human animals. We have to understand that advocates are our most precious resource. Even above the donations that we get, the people who are fighting for animals, we have to invest heavily in the culture of our movement and in advocates of color directly, because without that, we're missing a huge opportunity for advancing our cause. We have started working with organizations in giving concrete, practical, operationalized advice in how to take these next few steps, in how to gain that racial literacy and then bring it into action. There are a lot of reasons why people of color can feel alienated in this space. First of all, there's a representation issue because there are so few of us in the movement. It's hard to be one of the first people to say, okay, I'm gonna be around people who don't really share my lived experiences. It's really important for people of color to feel like they belong. The animal movement hasn't done a good job historically of putting literature and putting materials out that speak to the authentic experiences of communities of color. In the professional, larger farmed animal protection groups, people of color make up about 9% or so of our movement. When you contrast that by the state of our society, where we are upwards of 40%, and by 2044, we're gonna be 51% people of color, we're missing a large part of our country when we talk about animal issues. The food system is completely laden with institutionalized racism, and that, I think, is really important for us to understand, that the racism we learn about in the textbooks is, yes, maybe something of the past, but the way racism looks and operates today is completely different, and we're trying to help organizations better communicate that. Now is the time to put these concepts into action. We have to make racial equity and racial justice a cornerstone principle in our movement, because if we don't, we risk losing our relevancy. We're trying to help organizations do this work more effectively so that we're not tokenizing people, we're not bringing black and brown bodies in without valuing their ideas and helping them do the best work that they can for their communities and also just do their best work for the movement.